stewardship ministries. How do we try and teach our members the beauty of the storehouse principle, the biblical storehouse principle? We could use a PowerPoint, we could use a pie chart, but instead, I want to show you a little illustration of how in your local church, because we are not trying to teach you the storehouse principle, because you already know it, but how you as a pastor, in your church during a Sabbath school time or an AYS or, or even during worship if you do it right, to show the beauty and blessings of what happens to your tithe and mine, or rather I should say the Lord's tithe, not ours. Terminology is important. So, as you can see on the stage, we have all the uh, entities of the general conference from the local member for a few minutes, just a few minutes today, my friend is Brother Earl, and he's representing the member. I'm uh, taking the role of the local church pastor, and we have the conference, the union, the division, and the general conference with us. What happens to our tithe? Brother Earl. Yesterday, Pastor Wilson told me that I'm one of 21 million members who um, uh, re return a tithe, 10% of my hard-earned income. Mr. President. Oh, hang on. I'm your local pastor. <laughs> Isn't that for me? Uh, no, we return it to the uh, storehouse, which is a local conference. Uh, but I want to ask the president of the conference, what do you do with the tithe that I return? Okay, thank you. Um, when we receive the tithe, first and foremost, one of the uh, responsibilities that we have is for evangelism. So, so we finance our evangelistic projects throughout the conference. We also use the tithe to finance and support our ministers. Then within the conference, we also have our schools that we um, support and, and finance. Um, after which we also send a tithe to the union. But before you send your tithe to the union, can I just say for what I'm about to receive as a pastor, may the Lord make me truly thankful, amen. Amen. We are also thankful, and a big portion goes back to the local churches to support mission in the local churches. And also, another portion goes further to support worldwide mission. And when it comes to the division, the first thing we reflect on is to thank God for our church members and their generosity. Just over the past year, we had increase in tithe in some places. Overall, it's 10%, but in some places, 23%. And what we do is we channel, we have a mission board, and we have allocated more than 1.8 million pounds into projects that go back to support mission activities in our fields. Could you say that again, please? We have a mission board. It includes all our officers and directors, and we meet monthly. We receive applications from you. We have a number of budget lines. If you go on our website, you'll see all this outlined for you. And we have set aside 1.8 million pounds. That's with the help of the General Conference. Amen. Amen. Yes. Um, uh, and, and this is when you apply for funding, you, we send the funding. So support, of course, the mission. So what we do is we take a portion of this money, we thank our church members, and we pass a portion to the General Conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me praise God for the 13 world divisions and our attached union, and we have one attached field. All of that provides the general conference with a certain portion, which then is used for a portion of it for our world church operations in terms of the general conference headquarters itself. And then a large portion is allocated back to world divisions for special projects and evangelistic mission outreach. And what a privilege it is to be part of this internal chain and then return it back so that everyone benefits. And as a former division stewardship director, let me just emphasize something beyond the tithe, world mission offerings, Sabbath school offerings in a local church when someone feels, no, no, we can't be giving to something far away, 
you are restricting God's blessing because the spirit of prophecy tells us there is a reciprocal reaction that when you give, especially to world missions, the Lord will bless you internally and locally. So praise God for the stewardship principles. So my faithful brother here in London, Brother Earl, when he returns the tithe into the local storehouse, it has the potential to act globally. Absolutely. The picture I like to use is of Earl's tithe helping a lady in Papua New Guinea. And I said this in a local church once, and guess what? There was a lady from Papua New Guinea visiting that day. And that was beautiful, because that is the nature of Adventism. The storehouse principle works. You know, there's an English phrase which says, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. I believe the storehouse principle works because the everlasting gospel came to your town and my town and Brother Earl's town. Let's thank God for that. Amen. <laughs>